Only we have exclusive new developments on divorcing duo John and Kate. John and Kate Gosselin, TV's most talked about couple. In good times. <laughs> and in bad. The last thing I wanted was to do this show and end up not being able to pay my bills. Breaking news on their media blitz split. His goals changed and they were, they felt possibly detrimental to me. Caught on tape, are John and Haley calling it quits? I'm not talking about this. And is he running back to Kate? I still wake up every day and I, I think the phone will ring and it'll be the old John. Or will there be a divorce court date? I want to get through this together with her and, you know, get through this divorce. You know, she keeps on avoiding, 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 and that's uh, the Kate Gosselin way, I guess. Exclusive, our one-on-one -on -one interview with John on their relationship. Oh, Kate doesn't show up to court today, so she, how is she going to be held accountable? Did fame and fortune destroy their marriage? I signed up for a reality show. I didn't sign up to be a tabloid staple. What about the kids? If does anybody believe that children can be exposed to a massive audience like this and have no consequences? And new details on the Gosselin's latest plans to stay in the spotlight. John wants to do a divorce dad's club with Michael Lohan. I would love to be uh, in a movie at some point. I would love to be the voice of a cartoon um, character in a movie. This is the TV Guide Network special, John and Kate, from love to hate. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Joyner and welcome to TV Guide special, John and Kate, from love to hate. The Goslins first shocked their fans in June of 09 by announcing their divorce. From infidelity accusations to empty bank accounts, it has been one jaw-dropping allegation after another. With their bitter divorce battle spinning out of control, the world is left wondering how this family of 10 will heal and ultimately survive. We've got all the breaking news. In an all-out war of words, John and Kate have taken to the media for weeks to air their dirty laundry, from alleged affairs to kids and, of course, the money. He took 230000 of the 231000 that we have liquid, and I have a stack of bills in my purse I can't drop in the mail. After she went on the, to on, the, on the Today Show and cried that she had no money, she went to a very expensive restaurant in New York and, and ran up a $170 bill. I, I feel like every time I step in that courtroom, you know, I'm held accountable, and then the other side's not held accountable. On October 26th, after weeks of mudslinging and he said she said over missing money, John complied to the judge's previous order and returned $180,000 to the separated couple's joint bank account. I made mistakes in the past and I'm reconciling them and I'm, you know, um, straightening up. But, uh, you know, I, I returned the money, you know, and, you know, they, you know, they still come down to me. They still come down to me. And it was John minus Kate at the court hearing, as Kate was in California signing books at a women's convention. I want to get through this together with her and, you know, get through this divorce. And, uh, you know, she keeps on avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. And that's uh, the Kate Gosselin way, I guess. But it's not just money that the couple is fighting over. In early October, John issued a cease and desist order to TLC demanding they stop filming his children. TLC is in turn suing John for breach of contract. The reason I don't think it's healthy for them is that we're going through a divorce right now, and I don't think it should be televised, and I think my kids should be taken off the show. Contrary to current popular belief, that it is in no way or shape or form harmful for the kids because they wouldn't be on it if it was. TLC aired the last original episode of John and Kate Plus 8 on October 26th, with Kate candidly answering viewers' questions like, will she ever marry again? I would love not to be alone, but I'm not going to say that ugh, nobody's ever going to buy into my mess, so... So I probably will be, but it's okay. Kate made a really smart move uh, to answer questions on her own special. TLC aired another one-hour special on November 3rd called Kate, Her Story. His goals changed, and they were, they felt possibly detrimental to me. But is John changing his ways? We're going to take a break and uh, decide, uh, kind of let Haley decide on, on what she wants to do. On Entertainment Tonight, shockingly, John walked out on Haley while making a surprising plea to Kate. I want to ask for a second chance. I want to apologize to Kate. But will she consider? I still wake up every day, and I, I think the phone will ring, and it'll be the old John. 
On June 22, 2009, after 10 long years of marriage, the couple announced on a TLC special that they were separating. That same day, they filed for divorce. When John and Kate first announced they were splitting up, they said it was going to be very amicable, they were going to work together, it was all for the sake of the children. As time went on, things got nastier and nastier, allegations started to be thrown around, John was seen out and about with all these various women, they were accusing each other of stealing money, doing all these horrible things, it just got worse and worse, and the drama just sort of unfolded in front of our eyes. But once upon a time, the Goslins lived a very private life. So how did they become a reality show phenomenon? Oh! In 2006, the world was introduced to the Goslins when Discovery Health Channel aired a one-hour special called Surviving Sex Tuplets and Twins. I bought one, got five free. Viewers wanted more, so a year later, the Goslins signed up to star in their own reality show, John and Kate Plus 8 on TLC. It might be a crazy life. But it's our life. But before there was a plus eight, there was a very young and in love John and Kate. John was raised by his mother in their small Pennsylvania town. He was kind of a soccer stud, a jock in high school, and Kate was the cheerleader. It was like they were meant to be. I love you, and we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you, and I can't wait to be Mrs. Gus. In October 2001, the couple became John and Kate plus twins, as they welcomed through in vitro daughters Kara and Maddie into the world. Using fertility again, John and Kate rolled the dice and it landed on six. On May 10th, 2004, Kate delivered three boys and three girls. Look at Mr. Joel drinking the bottle. With eight mouths to feed, times got tough and their church stepped in to help. It became obvious at that point, John was, uh, was on the verge of losing his job and Kate was gonna be unable to work, so their needs were were really rather large at the time. They had lots of our people coming in to help feed the babies and, and to do the schedule. Having their lives played out on television proved ratings gold as America quickly fell in love with this family. Four seasons later, the show was still going strong, but trouble was brewing behind the scenes. It's no secret on the series that John and Kate bicker. A lot of people had said that Kate emasculated John by the way she was constantly screaming at him and second guessing him. As the fifth season was about to premiere, photos of John and a much younger woman started to surface. Since his split from Kate, John has had many girlfriends. In fact, one actually was the straw that broke the camel's back. This was Deanna Hummel. She was a young 23-year-old teacher who he was having a fling with while still married to Kate. When Kate found out about this relationship, that's what made her file for divorce. Looking back, was it John's alleged infidelities, or some say even Kate's, which caused the breakup? Or was it the couple's affair with fame and fortune that ultimately led to their family's demise? When John and Kate from Love to Hate returns... John is saying that in the last four years, she's made over $2 million from all of these appearances. How the Goslins went from struggling to a lavish lifestyle. But are fame and fortune to blame for the collapsed marriage? I signed up for reality, a reality show. I didn't sign up to be a tabloid staple. Plus, the show is over, but find out how Kate plans to stay in the spotlight. I would love to be uh, in a movie at some point. 